So today we're going to finally take a look at the Marvel Legends Khonshu Build-A-Figure from the Disney Plus What If Wave. Or just Disney Plus Wave because it's a mixture of What If, WandaVision, Loki, just all the Disney Plus shows. And this figure here takes six of those figures in that wave to complete and there's a total of seven. And the Iron Man Zombie is the only one that does not come with a Build-A-Figure piece and it's not necessary to complete your Khonshu. But everybody else is indeed necessary. Jimmy Woo comes with the left arm of Khonshu while the right arm comes with the Red Skull. The torso comes with Howard the Duck and the head comes with He Who Remains. The right leg will be coming with Classic Loki while the left leg comes with Zombie Scarlet Witch. And also the staff that he's holding is also included with the Agent Jimmy Woo release. So this is definitely a figure that I have been excited as I progressed with the wave and continued to build him. And he is looking very, very good. I'm very impressed with it. And it's definitely one of the nicer Disney Plus releases so far. He comes in standing at just a little over 8.5 inches, but just under 9 inches. His staff stands at about uh, about 10 and 3 quarter inches tall there. And this is everything here. This is everything you get. We get the staff piece as his accessory, and that is all. And I feel like this is all you really, really need. And overall, the sculpt, the detail on here is pretty good. I'm having really no issues. Maybe a little bit more wash would have been cool, but they did wash up the head sculpt quite a bit, and that looks fantastic, so I'm happy about that. Um, comparing it to the digital render, the only difference I saw was that the digital render showed yellow fingertips or yellow fingers, similar to the yellow or gold on his neck right there and on the moon on his torso, um, while the figure does not have that. It's just regular plastic white mold there. You can actually get a better look at that right here. You can see the fingers are goldish or yellowish, and even on the image here on the side, you can see those fingers are colored but then also on this digital render the head is not as washed as you see it here you don't see all that black wash or brown wash that you see on the figure it's slightly different even the torso is like a brown color while it retained like the creamy white color that the final product got right there but with some added on brown paint so it's a little different taking a closer look at Kanshu, you can take a look at his head sculpt which looks fantastic, looks 100% accurate, and I really dig what they did here to make it seem like his head is floating, is they did the translucent neck right there with some gaps there, it's not a solid piece. So, it, you know, from afar and from the shadow that the head cast over it, you really can't tell all too much that it's there, and it's just very cool that they went that direction on that to give that illusion that the head is floating. The jacket piece is a separate piece that you can remove if you remove the arms. It's pinned on his back with a, you know, obviously a pin and a, or a peg, I should say. We can see all of the brown, dirty details on the torso, on the arms, and going down to the legs too. Now, putting this guy together was difficult at the legs. I, I had to heat it up with a hair dryer to make it uh, fit and snug. So I always hate when that happens. Um, but the good thing about it is that you don't you don't have to worry about the leg popping off or going anywhere because it's a solid tight fit and that's always better than having any loose fit so overall pretty cool looking at his little crescent moon staff that he has we do get some paint details on the upper area here some gold paint which looks pretty cool it's better than not having any paint at all so I dig it. As for his articulation, his head is just sitting on a ball joint, no hinge or anything. So it's going to swivel left and right, no issues. Up about this far and down about that far. So not too much. I wish it was more, but you can't really do anything about that. Overall, decent motion there. Arms will go forward all the way up. They go down. They do go in and out. We get bicep swivels, those double jointed pinless elbows. Swivel at the wrist with a side hinge for the right hand and a regular hinge for the left hand there. Uh, torso is a diaphragm joint which swivels and crunches forward and back and tilts. Legs will kick forward. They do kick back. They go in and out. Let's see about this far right there. And then we do get the thigh swivel along with a double jointed pinless knee. And then we have the ankle hinge along with an angle rocker at the foot. Real quick, here he is next to Moon Knight. So this is very difficult to fit everybody in frame, not covering any 
feet or heads, but for the most part here you can see the entire weight. Get that brightness up a little bit. You can see classic Loki on the left side next to He Who Remains, and we got Red Skull, Howard the Duck, Agent Jimmy Woo with little Ant-Man down there on the bottom, and then the zombies on the right, we have Scarlet Witch and Iron Man there. So very solid wave if you're a big fan of MCU. If you're a big fan of the Disney Plus TV shows, very good figures here and a very, very good build a figure. Of course, the weakest link of them all is Howard the Duck. If anything, he is not a good figure. <laughs> He's definitely the worst figure there because of the lack of articulation, but only because of that. Other than that, the sculpt, the design, everything about him looks really, really good. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section on this Khonshu build a figure and the entire wave as a whole. What's your favorite figure and what do you want to see next? While you're down there, hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And as always, everyone, take care, take it easy, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.